Good morning. Welcome back, everybody, to another video with Trucking with Angie and Sarah. I almost said Trucking with Kiana, but it's Trucking and Angie and Sarah now. Um, and we are headed off to orientation. Uh, John Krishner Trucking was able to get us a rental car, uh, which enabled me to bring a little bit more stuff with me so I don't have to go home right away. Um, so I brought the air fryer and the Instapot and a few cooking supplies. Not too many, just enough to kind of get by. I know there's a little bit of haze on this um, uh, windshield, but it fogged up a little bit this morning. So, but like I said, we're just going over to Walmart real fast because um, before I left CFI, my gloves that I use for fueling and my pre-trip and all that, they kind of went and kicked the curb. So we're going to go down there and uh, my boyfriend who's meeting me at orientation, because um, I need to give him his mail and uh, one of his cards that came in the mail, um, he said he needs some uh, shampoo and conditioner. So, since I have the ability more easily than he does, I'm going to go over to Walmart and go pick some up. He was saying I could just pick some up and route, but I don't really like doing that. Once I get started driving, I like to get going. So, that's what we're going to do. But we're going to take the back way to Walmart since I have a car and not a bike. I hope you guys enjoyed the biking um, videos. I, I do want to do those when I'm on home time. Uh, because that's my main transportation until I get my brother uh, the money to fix up the car that I bought. Um, well, my parents paid for it. I gotta pay them back. Um, so, they, I, I have a car. It's in Colorado. And I need to go pick it up. But it needs some light repair work before I do that. So, once that's all taken care of, we'll have a car. But, for the Hello, how are you today, Sheriff? This is kind of the... Oh, that's an actual police. Ah, well, I'll be a monkey's uncle. I haven't seen one of the actual police in a while. Hey, look, there's somebody else riding their bike. That's cool. But anyways, so yeah, I just wanted to, you know, give you guys an update video. I may or may not um, video the whole drive over. Uh or at least most of it, um, or parts of it, because I'm going to need the navigation once I start getting closer to Tulsa, and I don't know if my camera works with my navigation running. Um, for the most part, I know the route, but there's just a few spots where I'm not 100% sure, and I'm not bringing my Rand McNally because I gave it to my boyfriend, and the one that might ex-boyfriend was using, which is at the house, uh, is not turning on. So I'm not sure if it just doesn't work or what. So I didn't want to bring it and then it not work. So I'm just going to rely on the Rand McNally Atlas um, and try and do a really, really good pre-trip so that I, you know, know where I'm going without the use of navigation because, um, John Krishner Trucking does have navigation uh, in their trucks, but my boyfriend says that it sometimes shuts down on you, so uh, I want to have a backup plan ready to go, you know. So, that's, that's kind of the way things are. And I'll probably get one of those... Um, uh, pens that you can write on the windshield with and like right in the top corner of the windshield um, I think I'll write down the routes that I'm planning to take so that I can just you know when I see them come up on the road I go oh okay this is where I'm supposed to go you know because usually there's enough signage on the way that I'll have enough warning to go this way or that way um, so yeah that's the plan as of right this very moment. And yeah, so this is where I turned the other day on the bike. Um, 
I was just trying to avoid most of the hills. Uh, but this way is the way I go if I'm going by car. I don't like to go this way um, on bike because there's really no shoulder. Uh, as it's a little bit more clear to see since you guys are up on the windshield and not trying to hang over the basket. I think once I get the GoPro, um, which it will be so much easier once I go to John Kirshner Trucking, uh, because I'm going company to start, uh, it is 60 cents per mile, and they're saying that I could get 2,500 miles a week. Um, we will see how that, you know, pans out. I know every company likes to say that they'll get you a certain amount of miles, but, you know, we'll see. We'll play the game and see how things go, you know? Um, <clears throat> I would like to do their lease purchase program. It has a $1 buyout at the end, and I think that's a pretty nifty little uh, thing. So, I think it's definitely worth looking into. Um, and I know that They've had several drivers complete that uh, lease purchase program, so it's it's a thought. And that's actually what my boyfriend is doing right now is the lease purchase, and he seems to be doing really well, so I feel pretty confident that if I choose to go that path, I would also be doing pretty well. So, we are almost over here to the Walmart, and then I will... Once I get to Walmart, then I'll let you guys go, and uh, then you won't have another video until I get to um, the hotel today. You cannot check in until 3, and I am 495 miles away. It is 7.11 in the morning. It's going to take me a few minutes to get through Walmart. Uh, so, let's say we leave at 8 a.m., 495 miles, about 8.5 hours by car. Uh, so eight and eight is 16, 16 is four. So cautiously we'll be there about five o'clock because I'm probably gonna stop somewhere to uh, refuel, rehydrate. Um, I know I'm stopping in West Memphis to fuel because that is the cheapest fuel along the route and I don't want to spend any more than absolutely necessary. Um, and other than that, I don't know. Yeah, that's... And this is the... See, now you can see it a little bit better that there's a little bit of a decline. And that's why I took this route on the bike the other day. So I came across where that red truck is. And right into the home, the Lowe's parking lot. Home Depot's on the other side. Um, drive through here. And around the corner and we'll be at Walmart. Uh, I forgot what I was talking about. What was I talking about? Shoot. Oh, scatterbrain, scatterbrain. Scatter, scatter. That's okay. But anyways, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. West Memphis is the cheapest fuel along the route. Um, and then Clarksville, Arkansas, I believe was the second cheapest option for fuel along the route. But once you get into Oklahoma, prices start going up a little bit more. So, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna stick with the Arkansas fuels, um, and we'll see. We may not fuel in Clarksville. It just kind of depends if I have enough to make it from West Memphis all the way to Tulsa. Um, I've got 187 miles to empty right now, and it is 90 miles to Memphis. So 90 miles brings it down to 90 miles to empty. And full tank brings me up to 350 miles, I believe. Because that's what I had yesterday when I picked this up. Um, I will not be able to make it without stopping. Okay, so we'll stop in Clarksville. And then, unfortunately, that also means we're going to have to fill up one more time before um, we hand the car over. So because it has to be returned at full, I think. I gotta look at the, the thing, the paperwork. Okay, don't mind me, I always park like at the end of Walmart. It's just so much less stress. 
Let's see. I know this is mostly employee parking, but like I said, less stress. Oh, pull through. Look at that. I was about to turn around and, you know, back in, but, you know, we'll take a pull through. Anyways, y'all have a beautiful day. Stay safe, stay blessed, and we'll see you in the next video.